Hey YouTube family, so I'm back with some more car talk. I hope you guys enjoy these moments where I speak to you guys about different topics in my car. Um, I was watching Blackish last night and Rainbow, I don't know if you guys watch Blackish, um, is Anthony Anderson's wife on the show and she is half white. Her family, the white side, came to visit and her mother saw her make her husband's plate and serve it to him and she freaked out and was like why are you serving a capable healthy man a plate and it just made me think about when I was engaged to this man you know a year ago the first time that my family and I went down to meet his family and they cooked dinner for us and the mother and the sister said that they don't believe that the man should touch his plate, that he should not make his own plate, that the woman and the wife should make the plate. And me and my mother and my daughter looked at them like, what is wrong with these ladies? So when dinner was um, done, they called all the kids in and me and my mother and my daughter were standing back and we watched them line up all the little boys and the teenage boys ahead of the girls. The girls were in the back and the boys were in the front and they served the little boys and the teenage boys their plates and made the girls wait. And me and my mother and my daughter looked at each other and we was like, um, what is wrong with these women? Like, are you serious? You know, in the Bible, Jesus says to submit to one another. That means the husband and the wife are to submit to each other, not just the wife. People always get that twisted. It's like when you get married or you're in a relationship, especially marriage, they think that the wife is supposed to serve everybody. You know, like women don't want to be served like women are just lower than their husbands you know that we don't get tired we don't get sick that we don't want to be treated special you know jesus never said that the man was superior over his wife or over a woman you know and just looking at the way that they are you know the way that family was and his sister was like joyce is not going to make your plate and I looked at her like, I sure am not. I'm hungry too. I've been waiting. You know how black folks take forever to cook dinner. I'm hungry too. He can make his plate. And she grabbed his plate and she made it for him, girl. I couldn't believe this, y'all. Me and my mother and my daughter could not believe this. They even made my father's plate. My mom made her plate just like I made my plate. And we all sat down and ate. And it was just like, what? time zone what weird o's are these ladies like they are teaching another generation all this backwards works and i just feel so sorry for the young men and women that they have under them that they're teaching this wrong wrong vision that jesus did not have for the husband and the wife so i'm just so grateful that god you know, gave me a word, gave me a vision and granted me the escape out of that relationship. And I ended that relationship because I could just not picture myself being in a family like that. And I told him when we left, you know, we discussed what I saw and I told him that I just did not like that at all, that I cannot be that kind of woman, you know, that your sister and your mother are not going to bully me. They're not going to try to change me. I've already been raised by a queen. I have a, one mother. I don't need any other women trying to mother me or tell me what to do. And it's just not going to work. And he was like, he was fine with it. But you knew he wasn't fine because I asked him, you know, do you want your woman, your wife to, to make your plate, to serve you? He said, yes, I would like that. But it's okay if you don't want to. He was lying like he was lying throughout the whole relationship because that's exactly what he wanted. You know why? Because he was conditioned as a young boy all the way up to 50 years old. He's in his 50s and that's what he wants.
So, you know, you got to really be careful out there who you're dating. You know, really, when you meet the families and stuff, you get to see a lot about who your mate is and who you are with. Because the truth really comes out then. You know, they can't hide it when you get around the family. Because family members ain't going to hide. They're going to be real and they're going to keep it real and be they self. You know what I mean? But um, I grew up in a home where I seen my mother and father serve each other. I seen my mother and father both do dishes. I seen my mother and father both wash clothes. I seen my mother and father both cook dinner. I seen my mother and father both clean up. I seen my mother and father share the um, responsibility of raising me and my brother. You know, so I wasn't trying to be in no marriage or relationship where the man feels like he goes to work and comes home and leaves all this responsibility on me. And ladies, this is something to think about. You know, if you are in agreement with a man to be in a relationship like that, you got to think about what about the times when you get sick? What about the times, God forbid, you have surgery? What about the times that, you know, you need a break? And all your man knows is you serving him and he don't know how to cook clean or do anything without you. You know, you're going to be hating life when that happens. So it's best that you let your man learn and help you around the house and with the kids. You know, it's just best for the marriage. It's not going to work, you know, any other way. I feel like out of the love for your partner, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if you want to make them a plate and serve them a plate, then you doing it because you love them and because you want to, not out of control or obligation. It should never be like that, you know? And when it's a control thing, it is not Jesus, you know? If it's out of obligation, it is not Jesus, you know? You don't have to make your woman or your man's plate to show that you love them you know and i just thought that that was just so interesting because i hadn't thought about that in a while because i've been you know out of that relationship for a year now but when i was watching blackish you know and i love that show blackish is the bombest sitcom show out right now um it just brought back all the memories of you know that so guys you know this is the question of the day Women, do you believe that you should serve your man his plate? Do you believe that you should make dinner? You should be doing all the laundry. You should be taking care of the household without your husband's help or your man's help. And men, do you believe that the woman should do all the cooking and serve you your plate and do all the laundry and all the duties around the house? Comment below and let me know what you guys think about this. I would really, really interested in seeing what you guys think about this, you know, because I just don't believe that that is fair for either one of the partners to take on all the responsibility of that. So um, I hope you guys are having a blessed, blessed Saturday. It is so warm out here today. It's in the 90s. And um yeah, I'm really thinking about going and getting me a caramel iced coffee. Try to cool off a little bit. I'm so hungry. I haven't ate anything today. My allergies are still acting up. Hope you guys are having a safe and fun, blessed Saturday. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon. God bless. Peace.